Can you feel my heart? Melbourne's always had a vibrant music scene. Stars are born in this zesty metropolis, the likes of Kylie Minogue, Rogue Traders, and even The Temper Trap. Even with digital distribution, breaking into the Melbourne music scene is extremely difficult and it requires every ounce of energy and talent to get in. Record label owner, Melbourne music pioneer, and self-professed terrible musician, Bruce Milne, has been about the industry for over 30 years. His experience came out of the punk era and he's seen names the likes of Spiderbait and Sonic Youth grace the stage. We're actually entering a time that I've always dreamt about, where there was some recognition that we have something in Victoria, in Melbourne, uh, that has a value. And at the moment, both sides of uh, politics uh, are keen to be seen as supporting contemporary music. And that's, that's incredible. Um, we mustn't fall into the dangerous trap of becoming like the opera or something, basically a dead art form that's propped up by government. Um, uh, but I don't think that's happening. I think all of the, the money that's being put towards contemporary music is, is partly it's about not stopping it, which is what was going on before when you know the tote was closing down and things like that. Uh, the, the great thing about live music is you'll never be able to download that experience. And that's what I think artists have got to remember, that forget all the recorded stuff, that a great live show is an experience you have to be at. You can't be sitting in your bedroom watching it on a computer and be experiencing the same thing. I think the Melbourne music scene uh, in the future uh, will get more professional. Uh, that will have benefits, um, but it will also there'll be a loss of innocence and a feeling that oh there's a bit more um, there's a bit more money around now um, I think there'll be more international um, uh, focus on on Melbourne and there should be it's it is a an amazing hotbed of, uh, of talent um, and that's not accidental a lot of things have gone on to, to foster that the local scene has always thrived on the quality of its music venues from laneway cafes tucked away in the side streets of Melbourne to sold out arenas, Melbourne has always placed a high value on its music scene. Local Melbourne indie electro duo Godwell have found some success in the Melbourne music scene. Joe Kosky and Tom Armstrong met in 2008 and founded Godwolf in 2011. Godwolf are launching their latest EP on repeat at the Workers Club tonight. Hi guys, I'm uh, Tom Armstrong from Godwolf and I'm Joe Kosky, also from Godwolf. Hey, yeah. We are young. I was, you know, down the highly lucrative route of uh, acoustic singer songwritership. Like John Mayer style. Yeah, like John Mayer style, but just less good. And what ship was I on? And you were on the, I'm studying a Bachelor of Acting, but I get on the suicide ship. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so he started producing music. So he remixed one of my songs off my acoustic EP. It was a bit of a lol, a bit of, a, bit of a bloody lol. It was a real laugh. But, um, it was also pretty good. We were like, there's something in that. What if we wrote songs like this from scratch? To sort of forge our own path for the first couple of years until we hooked up with a booking agent and then things started going a little bit easier. But, the, but as, as far as like the actual scene goes, like I mean... It's pretty open, like... It, it's like, where do you want to play a gig this weekend? Like, could pick from like 40 places, like, that's pretty insane. You want to go play a gig in Sydney? You're in trouble. You're in trouble, you got like two places to pick from, like, essentially. But you're not alone There's no one to help you But you're not alone It's wrong, like you won't make money. Oh, yeah. You'll never make money just doing the Melbourne scene. But it's easy enough to get a foot in the door in terms of if you come across legit and have good work ethic and you present well in terms of even emails and stuff like that, you can you can get in touch with a venue or in touch with whoever's in charge of that venue and you will get a response. 
you know, musicians just want to make music. And yeah, when you music. start out, you're not expecting that, like, you're going to run a business. Like, if you're a band in Melbourne, then I can, like, guarantee you one of your members is, like, your manager. <laughs> the EP launch was a success. Godwolf sold out their venue, and if that's anything to go by, the Melbourne music scene is in safe hands. Harrison Johnstone.